Hello everybody. I'm so excited. Today we're going to do a layout and I'm going to use the Grillin' and Chillin' stamp set and I think it's going to be really fun. I'm going to use one of my favorite layouts. So I am not using any B&T paper. Instead, I want to use the stamp set to create my own. So I have some Sapphire uh, cardstock right here and I'm going to use the little tiny images that you can find on here to create some B&T paper. So I'm just going to um, randomly put these little guys on my block here. And we'll need a little fork. Perfect. Maybe we'll move the pizza around and the hot dog to add the spatula. Move him like this so there's room. Great. So now this is going to create my little BNT paper. So I'm just going to do tone on tone stamping. So tap, tap, twist, twist, tap, tap. And I didn't condition these because I find a lot of times when you have the smaller stamps, that's not really necessary. So tap, tap, twist, twist, tap, tap. And I'm going to, I'm working on my nonstick surface. So I'm going to kind of ink off just to kind of give it that real B and T paper feel. And then I'm going to rotate my block as I stamp down so that I can turn my images and they don't re become a repetitive um, on here. Uh -uh. So it's not the same one. So I just keep turning it like so. And I'm going to do that to fill it in all the way. And I love this. This is just a great way. And you can't really do, or do this wrong. You know, there's really no wrong um, way to make your own BNT paper, you know. It's just randomly putting some stamps on a block and going to town and inking it up and just rotating your block as you stamp along so that the images have a flow to them. Look how cute that is. Isn't that cute? I'm going to come down here and I can just wipe my surface off where it's going off the edge, but you kind of want it to get off the edge because you want to give it that BNT feel. Perfect. That's great. And now I can go ahead and do my other um, one. And again, I just want to turn my block as I go through each time, giving it a quarter turn. And then um, just sort of kind of butting it up so that the images are um, closer together and you don't get too much space in there. And then we'll go off to the side. And again. It's okay if you um, overlap some of them, that's fine. There's really um, not too many wrong ways to do this. We just come in and fill in the little blank spots. However you want. Wherever you see a blank spot, fill it in. Perfect. Okay, I think we're good. Um, of course, if you wanted to do a little more up here where we didn't go off the page in the beginning, you can do that. Great. So there's your own B&T paper, which I love this. I, I love the idea of this. And then I'm just going to come in and wipe this off and set this off to the side. Okay. Beautiful, right? Okay, let's bring my base pages in. I'm gonna stick with the white daisy. 
Again, this is my favorite go-to um, layout. So I'm going to start with my colors up here, and I'm going to do red on the top, then my B&T, and then come in with my last color. Apparently I can't talk and do um, adhering at the same time. Perfect. And we'll come in with the second page. I'll just kind of do this like assembly style, if you will. Now, if you remember, all of our paper has that two tone, so it's the true color on one and then a lighter version on the opposite side. So that's what I'm working with here. I'm going to come in with that fresh BNT paper we just created. like so. This is perfect. You have Labor Day coming up. So this is a great way to get some of those last minute cookout uh, family get togethers on your page really quick. The colors go great together. And kind of perfect for an end of the year summer bash. And I love the true color, the sapphire, but the light is what I was going for um, just to capture those uh, images. It would have worked the other way too, trust me. Okay, and then we'll just finish it off here. Now I could come in and I may just do it with a little bit of shimmer trim. I love shimmer trim. It's one of my favorite things to use. And I think I'm going to come in with some silver. I think that will be really cute. And I'm going to come in with some silver right here. And I'm going to use my micro tip scissors because we all know how awesome they are. They cut, cut right through that adhesive and don't gunk up. That's why I love them. All right. And let's see. I just kind of want to make sure that my adhesive or my shimmer trim is straight and lined up when my pages are together. And I just um, really grabbed some scraps to put this together. And that's okay. Oh, so cute. Okay, so my left side of the page is going to have three, four. Let's see, should we put them up here or down here? Um, we'll go up this way. No, we'll go, we'll go down here. Three, four by three four and a quarter by three and a quarter photo mats. Perfect. And I did the black uh, just because it'll be a nice outline when you add in your pictures. So keep that in mind. You know, this isn't going to be that dark against it. And we'll put this last piece in. And then on the second page, you'll, your artwork is your b and DIY b and is really going to shine because we're going to go ahead and bring this down here like that. I'm telling you, this is my utmost favorite layout ever. And I like doing it because it's timeless. It's great for um, showcasing any any um, any any function that you've got going on. Sorry, I am normally a little bit better about crafting and talking at the same time. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Okay, so there's that. So we've got the basic part of it done. Um, I just need to cut off my, the extra of my sh shimmer trim here. No problem. 
perfect. Now we want to get some stamping done and we're going to stamp mainly on this page right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with this fun friends, um, food, fun and friends sentiment. And I'm going to grab a block and I'm going to carry in with that sapphire color. So tap, tap, twist, twist, tap, tap. Nice, good coverage over here. I just want to be careful so that when I put my fingers down, I'm not getting it everywhere. And I'm going to put it, oh, let's do it right about here. We're going to do straight down and straight up. Perfect. It's a, that's, I love that. That turned out really, really nice. I'm going to grab a little bit of a white daisy scrap. And when I say scrap, I mean it's really a scrap. And I'm going to come in with this five-star rating stamp. I think that's so stinging cute. I'm going to, again, use the sapphire. I'm going to keep true with it. Straight down, straight up. And then I can use my micro-tip scissors to cut it down to size. And you know what? I'm going to leave it torn over here on the side. I think that's super, super cute. And this piece is going to go on our right hand side. Right, right here. Maybe we'll tuck it under. Yeah, let's do that. We'll tuck it under there. I love crafting on the go and just kind of having a general idea of how I want something to go. And I'm going to rip the other side just so it kind of goes in with everything and we'll tuck it in right there and let's do a little bit of control on it add some ink and a little bit of adhesive and now that kind of sort of sticks out and we have our star rating very very cute now what we have left to do is add our journaling right here, which I'm not going to do that right this second, and um, do some more embellishments. So what I'd like to do is bring in a little bit of my silver sequins because I use the silver shimmer trim. And to me, that will just kind of carry it all back in um, and make everything go with each other. So I'm going to put a few of these um, sequins up here at the top. And I'm going to grab an iridescent one because I like the... Okay, so we're going to use that iridescent. Ah! Okay, there we go. My liquid glass will work for me. There we go. And we'll add a little silver in here and also some clear uh, sequins. get a pretty silver one and then I like the stars that are included in here so I'll try to capture that as well we can put this one down here by our uh, food friends and fun and I think there's some more in here of course there is and this will just jazz up the page and kind of you know make it all pretty there's lots of extra stamps that you could um, embellish this with. Um, there's a nice checkered that I could, and we could have gone through and created that on the red, but I really just wanted to focus on making the, the B&T on the sapphire. And there's another uh, title called Chillin, Grillin' and Chillin', and also a grill and some stars. So, you know, we can always come in And add a little star straight up, straight down around our title too, just to kind of, you know, accent some fun in and, you know, maybe over here on the side. There's really no wrong way to do a page. You do what, you know, you like and how it comes out for you. So 
There is a very quick layout making your own BNT paper using that amazing Grillin and Chillin stamp set. I'm really glad that you stopped in and watched my video today and check back tomorrow for something new. Have a good one.